What's going on Wolfpack? It's Muddy Wolf here and in today's video we're going to be adding in a death screen to our game. So in the last video we created this really cool parallaxing menu um, and if you haven't seen that video I highly suggest you go check it out. As you can see here we got some cool things and we can hit play but now when we die in our game, this might take a while, but when we die uh, we do not we just die nothing else happens. We don't get any um, Death menu. We don't get anything that tells us we've actually died. We just disappear which isn't great So we need to actually add in a death menu So to do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap seeds we're gonna go seeds We're gonna choose our game scene and in our canvas We're gonna right click and click UI and we're gonna go into the panel here So we're gonna add a panel and we're gonna call this death panel Sounds very ominous. Uh, um, here, we're going to change this to be a black. And we're going to set it to be about 200, so it's quite dark. There we go. Let's hit close that. We're then going to add in here, we're going to add some text. So let's just go UI, text best pro. And we're just going to say, you died. We're going to upcase that. We're going to swap the font from the Liberations to the Fire of Sands. And here, we're going to go auto size. Uh, and we're going to give it the max for 102. I think that'll work. So let's go death panel. Let's attach this to the top. So let's just alt shift click. It should be snapping. Oh, guys, I've just realized I've been doing it with the wrong one. I need to actually click the text. I need to click here and I need to click snap to the top. I then need to go make this about 400 and this about 100. We're going to center them both. And, you know, we're going to make this about 600. And we're going to set this down about 100. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good. Once after you died uh, panel, we're going to then go in and click uh, UI and we're going to go for a button with Text Mesh Pro. We're just going to call this the retry button. Go go into the actual text and just rename this to retry question mark. We'll swap the font out to be Fire Sands Bold, full case and also about 36. You know, what? let's say 48. And then let's actually go and resize this button to be about 400 and 100. That's perfect. Let's swap the color. We're going to go for like the purple we used earlier. Let's go for the purple, maybe a bit more blue purple. And then the actual color of the text, let's make that white. There we go. So that button is now done. Let's duplicate that button and let's add in a back to menu button. Go to the text and just rename this to back to menu. Uh, FKL should be fine there. Um, and let's actually move this one up minus 58. Oops, sorry, 58, not minus. And then on the right, uh, we're going to go 50 minus 58 to bring it down. There we go. So we've got retry or back to menu. Now, this panel cannot be active by default. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off. And then once we've got that off, we're going to need to actually set up some new things. So we're going to actually set up a level manager. So let's create a new object. Let's call it level manager. Let's move it up the top here. Let's reset its transform just so it's uh, back at center. And let's create a level manager script. Click create and add. Wait for this to load. There we go. Now I'm going to double click this to open it up in Visual Studio Code. I'm just going to drag that up. Now over here, let's just remove this, bring that up. And in here, we're going to have a few different things. We're going to first, we're going to make this accessible in any script. So we're going to say public static level manager instance. And then we're going to create the awake function. We're going to say if level manager dot instance is equal to null. We're going to say instance is equal to this. Else, we're just going to destroy the current, oh, destroy, destroy the current game object. Um, so what this is doing is we're saying if um, the instance doesn't exist, we're going to turn it the instance into this. Else, if it already exists, we're going to destroy this game object. And then we're going to have a public void game over, not game object, game over script or method and we're going to say ui manager which is going to be something we create we're going to say underscore ui is equal to get component ui manager and then down here we're just going to say if underscore ui is not equal to null if it's not equal to null we're going to say 
underscore UI dot toggle the death panel. Now we need to go create this. So we're going to have some errors down here saying does not exist. Yep, that's fine. So on our um, level manager, we're going to create the UI manager. Um, now you could add this somewhere else, let's say to your canvas or to somewhere else. But I just find it everything's easier to create on one manager. Um, and the level manager is used for anything to do with inside the current level. So let's wait for that to load. Although it's not going to load because we've um, got some issues. So we've got the UI manager. And then with the UI manager, what I'm going to do is we're just going to create those two options. So first we're going to serialize a field. Serialize field. And we're going to call that game object. And the game object we want is the dev panel because we need to be able to toggle it. We're then going to get the public void and we're going to say toggle dev panel. Now the dev panel will have dev panel dot set active and now we're going to toggle we're going to say it's active it's not equal to whatever we currently are active self. So what this is saying is toggle dev panel dev panel set active. So what we're saying is we're going to turn this to whatever we currently are not. So if we're active this is going to become inactive. If we're um, if we're inactive, it's going to become active. We're just reversing whatever we currently are. So there we go. So let's uh, close that. And that should now be fixed. If we come back to the editor here, it should say, there we go, our errors are gone. So on our level magic, you can see we need the dev panel. So what we're going to do is drag the dev panel into there. And that should set that. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is we're actually going to need to trigger this. So on our player, we have the player health script, which we're going to open up. And then here, we need to go, see here where we destroy the object, we're no longer going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to create a player death function, player player died, should we call it. And then we're going to create a private void player died. And this is going to say level manager dot instance, and then we're going to say dot game over. So what you can do with this is you will get the level manager. So because we made the level manager a public static level manager and set to instance this will now allow us to basically get that instance in any script without having to call it so we've got this and we're calling the game over function here which is great and then what we're going to do is we're going to get the current game object and we're going to set active equal to false so we're just going to basically instead of destroying it we're just going to turn him off so for later on we could actually respawn the player without having to reload the scene so that is done there now we've got that and we're going to toggle the dev panel, um, which we've done inside of our um, UI manager here. The final thing we need to actually do, well, I think we need to actually test if it works when we die. So let's come in, let's reload the scripts. Let's hit, well, actually, you know, let's, for starters, let's make our player's health a little less. Um, let's make it like 20 so we die quicker. Let's hit play and let's see what happens. So now when we get hit, we're going to get absolutely destroyed. And there you go. We died and the panel comes up. Now, if we try and hit retry or click back to menu, nothing actually works. So now we need to hook up the keys. So what we're going to do is on our level manager, we're going to add in a new script called state manager. Now, the state manager, if you've guessed it, will handle the changing of scenes or the state of the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click to open this up in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to bring this across and I'm going to remove all of these here. Now, inside of the state manager, all we want to do is, well, we want to get unity dot scene management. And then we're going to say public void reload current scene, um, which all this is going to do is we're going to get the scene manager dot load scene. And then we're going to load the current scene. So we'll say scene manager dot get active scene. And then we're going to say dot build index, oh, index, which is what we need to reload the scene. Finally, we're going to get the public void and we're going to create a change scene by, oh, scene by name. And this is going to take a string called name and we're going to do the exact same thing. And we'll just go pass through name there. So we're just going to, well, we should probably check if it's null just to make sure. So we're going to say if name is not equal to null, um, then do this just so we don't get any errors if it is null by accident. There we go. So now if we come back to our game here, we should see over here, 
that is now done. Now, if we go onto our canvas and our dev panel and click on our retry button, we could add a click empty. We could actually drag in our level manager object here, and then we can find the state manager script and look for the reload current scene function. Now that's going to reload this scene when we retry, or what we're going to do is drag in the level manager again, this time on our back to menu button, and we're going to go down to state manager, change scene by name, and we're going to call this menu. Now for this to work, we need to add menu to our build index, which I think we already have done, but let's just make sure. Yes, it's already there, menu. So that should now take us back to the menu by the name which is great. So there we go. So let's give this a try. Let's hit play. And here we go. So now if we get killed, oh no, I've died. Now if we hit retry, we respawn. And if we just quickly die again, we can hit back to menu and we're taken to this really cool menu. Super cool game. And we can play again if we wanted to. There we go. So that is all we're going to do for this video. A quick death scene, reload and a state manager to handle our states. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. In the next video, you guys will tell me what you want me to do in the comment section down below. Now, a couple of ideas have been passed through and I just want you guys to keep firing ideas and I'll keep trying to make different videos on what's next. So this was one of the comments I've ticked off. Now, hopefully I can tick off a few more. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Headbutt the like button, subscribe button, not the like like button and don't forget to leave any comments or any feedback you have down below thanks for watching keep muddy and peace out